I just wanted to share with you quickly how I made my Christ coffee table, um, the life of Christ. You could do any bragging table. You could do grandma pictures, your grandkids. You could do drawings that your grandkids have done. You can do this on any table or any dresser. Basically, um, if you have a dresser or something that you, you don't want to paint, you can put a piece of fabric underneath it and cut it off, or you can cover a piece of wood um, and put it on top of the fabric, uh, on top of the dresser. Any type of uh, finished wood that's pretty, you don't need to have. I just liked the red backing. Um, I had a piece of wood that was just painted. This is actually an oxygen refueling station that we use as a coffee table. So I, I actually cut the wood to fit and I ordered the glass. Um, but you don't have to use glass, you can use plastic. But I just took pictures that I like of the life of Christ and I kind of put them in order with a, a song, words that I like about Christ. And I just put them all in there in order and they're kind of skimwampus because we've replaced a few as the sun hits it, the UV makes them fade. You can see a couple of them are faded and then we've just replaced some. Um, whenever I get a new one that I like or I see one that I like, I'll just replace one of the old ones. But um, So I just cut the glass and put the glass over it. Sometimes you can get the glass at like a secondhand store from a, a larger piece and have them cut it down. That's the cheapest way I've found to get glass to cover dressers or cabinets or any tables or something that I want to cover. Um, but also I have furniture that I've refinished. I refinished this table and I could put that under, but I was going to show you is everybody says, how do you keep your table so shiny? Basically, the day I refinished it, I just bought this thick plastic table covering at Walmart by the roll. They have it, they got rid of it for a while, but I think they have it back now. And you can get different thicknesses. I get the thickest one. And basically, I just stuck it down and I took scissors um, and you can just cut with the scissors. You don't even have to chop. It'll just kind of slice it to the edge of the table or counter or uh, dresser and then you can put pictures um, underneath that. I wouldn't put them near the edges or they might fall out but you know you can put the pictures inside here and that's the way you can make a grandma brag table or a Christ table like we did or a coffee table or any other type of picture or something you want to display. Maybe some artwork that your kids have done or something like that underneath. Um, I did do a blog on this years ago. It's called the, my blog is thesecretisgratitude.com, all under uh, lowercase and no spaces. And um, if you go to the bottom of that page, the home page, there is a search box and you can just type in Bragg Table or Christ Table and m more detailed instructions will come up on that. But I just thought I'd put a video on it um, and link to it from the video. So, have a good day.